Hey guys, what the fuck is going on? Today we're gonna be reading the original side story, the path shown by the full moon's light. And on and I'm reading it off manga stream. Page one, we have Orjumaru and his uh alleged son. The path I walk is that of the snake. Go ahead and skip to page four. Amidst the darkness of our story begins. You have a colored page, purple, and you have a closed eye and it's opening, you know, typical Naruto stuff. Let's click to page five. Okay. It seems to be in the laboratory with Orochimaru. Have you awoken? The water guy's right there. I forget his name. Okay. Go to page six. I had you drink the medicine I concocted earlier, so you'll be just fine. Now have another cup and you'll feel much better. First of all, if Orochimaru ever passed me a cup of anything, I'm slapping out of his hand and I'm slapping him straight after that. Orochimaru is not to be trusted. <sighs> I just don't like this fool. Sorry about that. Alright, he drinks it. Obviously something wrong. Click page seven. Okay. Once he's fully awake, please be a deer and escort him to my room. I'll leave the rest to you. Roger that. What the hell is going on, man? There's some funny shit going on. Hey, are you alright? What's wrong with his eyes? He look like he he off from Percocets. Who? Am I? Ah, uh, ah! Uh, turn to page eight. Uh, this makes the sixth time. Who is this guy in the hoodie? Turn to page nine. I truly hope things go better next time. Why was I in that bed? Must be nice. To be able to forget all the inconvenience, inconvenient stuff, eh? Why this kid don't got no memory? What the fuck are you doing to him or tomorrow, you scum? You failed your top secret mission that you undertook as a two-man cell with Lord or tomorrow. And then since you were wounded, Lord tomorrow carried you back to this hideout. You don't remember? Of course you don't remember. He don't even remember who he is. Turn to page 10. Oh, shit. What the hell's going on? Why is he attacking him? Yo, he got the arms like Orochimaru. Okay, this is the shit I'm talking about. Turn to page 11. It's the type of shit I miss. Okay. Damn. Turn to page 12. You're good. I wouldn't want to take your good from this guy. To me, he just, he was Sasuke's bitch. Anyway, on page 12, I'm sorry, I unconsciously, it seems at least your body clearly remembers the fact that you're a ninja. You're fucking right, he's a ninja. Alright, page 13. You were captured by a certain man, and he had your memories of waste while being held in town. Oh man, I'm so sick of these characters losing their memory, man. That shit's so corny nowadays. But I'd rather have my memories erased than my life. If you ask me, so let's chalk this one up as a win. My bad. I just wanted to make sure that's all. Because if your talents as a ninja were erased along with your memories, Lord Ochimaru would, would be mildly disappointed, I wager. Fuck Lord Orochimaru. Orochimaru? So you telling me this is his son, but he doesn't even remember his name? He doesn't even remember Orochimaru? What the hell's going on? <sighs> on second thought, he might be disappointed anyway. Fuck Orochimaru. Who cares if he's disappointed? Motherfucker should be locked up. Alright, Orochimaru. They're in the room. Indeed, I am Orochimaru. I am your parent as well. My parent? That's right. And for that reason, you are a very special person to me. That's why we're going to rest 
restore your memories. I mean, is Orochimaru the mom or is he the dad? I like... Ah, oh, fuck it. Page 15. Restore my memories? But how? Beep, beep. This man is a ninja who wields the ability to steal others' memories. He takes these memories as his own and keeps a stock of them. By planting foreign memories into his victims, he's able to control them. And of course, he is perfectly capable of returning the stolen memories to their rightful owner. Oof. Orchmar gonna eat them up. Page 16. Bitsky, your memories were stolen by this man. In order to you to turn back the way you are, we must capture this man and have all your past memories replanted within you. That's the only way. We call this guy Log, and we're taking the calling the ability he employs, Kiki Bai no Jusu. The two of us will go confront this man once again. Wait a minute, in that case. In the previous mission you mentioned, why exactly was it that you and I came in contact with this man? Why, in order to steal all the memories... All the information that the man had acquired thus far, of course. So we've got to capture him alive, all right? Orochimaru's always up to no good. And that's because, well, we went and had a bunch of important information stolen from us. Rather than the other way around. You said your name was Orochimaru, right? If I was together with you then, doesn't that mean you could have... Memories altered as well. For starters, just which of my parents are you anyway? My mother or father? That's exactly what I'm saying. What are you or tomorrow? You freak. Page 18. Something like that is inconsequential. What you mean inconsequential? Answer the question, you freak. Before this incident, you knew that I was one of the legendary signing. And that I wasn't just your run-of-the-mill ninja. Well, he got a point there. Orochimaru is no weakling. Sasuke only killed him because he was sick. Okay, why did you take someone like me who's so weak with you on an important mission? It seems that you underestimate your own abilities. I believe I mentioned this already. That you're special. You're my child. you just forgotten that fact temporarily. You are, not, you are my precious, adorable child. This mission is one of importance for us parent and child as well. So are you telling me we finna get like a Orochimaru and Miski like side story? Okay, Keish. Hey, Magic Kishimoto. Okay, page 19. You are just a child. You will listen to what your parents say. Yeah, that's right. Put the fear in them. I just, I just want to know exactly what I am. Nothing more. That as well will be revealed as long as you stick with me. Okay, so we're not going to find out until he finds out. Okay, not bad. Page 20. Okay, we got some kind of, um, looks like a hideout in the cave. Okay, never seen that kind of thing before in the Rudo. Okay, we got a giant scroll. The ninja looks kind of fire, I'm not going to lie. He looks kind of, he, he's kicking shit right now. Okay, page 21. From this point on, he set up a barrier. What do we do? That barrier ain't going to stop you. Hold on, hold the fuck on. Orochimaru looks like a straight woman right now. <sighs> fuck it, fuck it. You're going to break this barrier. How is he going to break the barrier? Eh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How are you going to break the barrier? That's exactly why I brought you with me last time as well. You and I are the only ones who can break this barrier. I have that kind of power. you simply forgotten about it. You have a special power. I'll teach you how to use it. Okay, page 22. Okay, the ninja, the barrier was, so they've come. This ninja ain't playing. I wonder if we know this ninja. Hold on, Miski has the power just to break any barriers? Okay. Page 23. Is that your ability? Now then, off we go. Miski, I'm not gonna lie, he has a pretty cool design. Okay, they're running up the walls. Page 24. Okay, page 24. So you know the stuff as anticipated. 
There was really no need for you two to go out your way. I was planning on coming for you sooner or later. Okay. Okay, he's doing a jutsu. Kind of should be a no jutsu. In order to obtain the key to open that. This time for sure, I'll have you return it to me. Together with my child's memory. Okay, Orjumaru, defending your honor. Okay, page 25. I the ninja dashing at him. It seems my peerless no jutsu is no longer effective against you. Duh, fool. You should just run. Don't fight with you, Maru. Okay, that's so fast. They're clashing. Page 26. Typical snake stuff. Or Maru. OP as usual. Bites down. Okay, it's over. That's some nice armor you've got there. I never would have imagined that my fangs couldn't pierce it. Did you make some improvements? I have nothing to fear if I can defend against your poison. Damn, have these fools fought before more than once? I right, page 27. Ninja Art. I'm not good with the Japanese names. Y'all see it. I don't know how to say that shit. Okay, Orchumaru, open this mouth. Classic. Classic. I allowed you to escape so easily when we last met, but that won't be the case today. Misuki, you have... Misuki, you better not be acting like a bitch in that corner. I right, page 28. Sage power. The rest is up to you. Misuki has sage power? Oh, shit. Indeed, the one I truly needed to be wary of was him. Last time, I really got burned. Is Miski low-key OP? The paralyzed Jusu, you didn't undo it? You even forgot your own powers. What a shame. I turned to page 30. You were too conscious of that large snake. Okay, there's always some snake action going on. When did he... Oh, man, he got snakes coming out of his mouth. Even a snake small enough to slip between the openings of your armor can still inject enough poison to be effective. Or tomorrow. You gotta respect him. As a result of the cursed seal's poison, you won't be able to move or speak for the time being. Miski, be a good child and stand guard here for a while. You can now move, can't you? What are you going to do? Tch, he's going to rape him. Isn't that obvious? Tch, don't watch. There's something I must search for. I'll find it in time. no time. And come right back. Page 31. Whatever you do, you mustn't get close to him. Am I clear? He's going to get close to him. All right, the guy's shaking. Man. Strong poison indeed. There's no need for you to worry. It takes everything I have just to speak. The antidote I prepared if it's only this amount of poison. Damn. Go away, Miski. He's going to tell you some shit you want to hear. However, as I am now, I am suffocating. Come here. Please remove my mask. Okay, page 32. Are you trying to deceive me? No. If you remove this mask, you'll quickly learn that it's uh, quite the opposite. I'll tell you one thing. The one deceiving you is Oro Tomorrow. And I believe it, man. You can't trust Oro Tomorrow. I understand the confusion and stress you're suffering from all too well. After all, Oro Tomorrow has, no, has not revealed a shred of real truth to you. Isn't that right? That is, if the time I spent with him is any indication. What the fuck is he talking about? Page 33. Do you have any idea what you truly are? I'm Orochimaru's child, and before I was sure to erase any memories, that may have given you the wrong idea, and yet this time Orochimaru used that against me, huh? Now come to me and remove my mess. I am the same as you. What does he mean? Okay, he's doing the dumb thing. He's removing the mask. Page 34. I am, I am Muski as well. I was created years before you. <sighs> Damn.
Damn it, Orochimaru. I, ugh. Always up to some fuck shit. What does this mean? Exactly how it sounds. You and I are synthetic humans created by Orochimaru. Vessels made for the sole purpose of appeasing his desires. Man, like I said from the beginning, man, Orochimaru's a jerk. He's a freak. He's not shit. What kind of... Page 35. These vessels at one time were called Tuski. The Mi is a derivative from the sixth Chinese zodiac, the serpent, or in other words, the, a snake. And thus, we were named Muski. What Orochimaru is looking for here is none other than the embryo in which we were originated. We were created from the careful cultivation of that embryo. The fact that you were able to dispel the barrier and enter this space is thanks to that as well. Oh, okay. My plan was to steal the embryo from Orochimaru and dispose of it. However, in order to open that case in which the embryo resides, I first needed the key which Orochimaru was carrying. Why you didn't say nothing in the first place, fool? Why would you want to destroy it? Organisms which are created artificially are not human. The embryo is a accursed, selfish creation and was made with a human ego. Huh. Okay, page 36. A foolish imitation of the gods which bend the very laws of nature. This vessel is a projection of Orochimaru's narcissism and greed no more, no less. I, like you, was created as Orochimaru's son, and I was particularly tainted, but I imagine escape from the palm of his hands. Thus he sought a replacement in you. Orochimaru will continue to create beings like you and I, one after the other, for his own convenience. The two of us should have never existed in this world from the start, and thus I shall return to the form that I should have remained in from the very beginning. But prior to that, Orochimaru will finish you off for good. Regardless of the process by which you were born, you two are no different from anyone else. Orochimaru is creeping. I guess he's sliding through. Page 37. You are my completely and utterly flawless children whom I loved from the bottom of my heart. The power lying dormant within you exceeds my own. Do you realize exactly how long I've eagerly awaited the day I could finally make your creation a reality is it truly wrong for a ninja like me to wish to have a child of his own is there one single thing which all humans should be forgiven for regardless of the circumstance okay the grown miski is looking like you sick bastard Ochima's like that is acting out of love is it not okay page 38 is that supposed to be justification for your conceited conduct did you really think that you could have everything under your control without no repercussions? Yeah, he does. It was never my intention to imitate the gods. I am simply obeying the will they have bestowed upon me, that is all. Miski, right now, you are still a child, and you may not fully understand, but one day you surely will realize the error in his ways. You must put a stop to Ora tomorrow. I am you, adult form, so I can say with certainty that the time when you must take action will come without fail. Okay, let's turn to page 39. Miski, he is merely trying to take advantage of your childish innocence and deceive you. I have obtained the embryo and the key in my hand as well. Miski, come with me. I will create even better siblings for you to play with. Hey, Miski, come along, Miski. Okay, Miski, you, you finna jump? For a child like me. Now, right, let's turn to page 40. Which of you I'll go with makes no difference. Okay, so he's like, fuck both of y'all. Oh, my God. Look at him. Shit. He got sage powers. You will those can't tell me what to do. 
I decide what I want to do for myself. Okay, he takes the key while he runs away. Page 42. Jump it down. At long last, he was able to activate Sage Mode. Yeah. Was this a test? What's going on? Page 43. What did you put inside this scroll this time? Well, perhaps you could have said a photo of the sun. Let's leave it at that. The sun, eh? On the sixth try, things finally went our way. I knew it. this was a test. The guys are fiends. Is that even a dope Miski? Rather than choosing between the two options we presented him with, he chose a third answer of his own will, or so he said. So, have they done this before and just killed all the other children? Page 44. But I wonder, will this turn out well? I can only hope we won't have to make a seventh attempt. I'd really rather not use those drugs to erase his memory again. Oh, okay, so they every single so oh, okay, he's been through this plenty of times before, and they would just erase his memory every single time he failed. Okay, that makes the situation less sick. A synthetic human who can choose to forge his own path. That child surely can become the light in darkness. You children could have never become the light, or so I thought. Both of you and that child. You two are my children after all. So it's just these two? This is the result you wish for, isn't it? You put on this whole elaborate act after all. And there's Orjimar with his, his evil smile. Page 45. Well, you know, I doubt that kid will become the light all on his own. But if he can find a son who will always be at his side and illuminate his path, then just maybe. So his top secret mission in life is to be Brutal's best friend or something? I knew he didn't naturally care about Brutal like that. I knew there was a reason he had a connection with him. And with that son at his side, that child will become the moon and illuminate the darkness. So Brutal's the son and Misku, whatever his name is, or Jamal's son is the moon. He is no longer a cracked vessel made of the earth. But rather a brilliant moon who eliminates the night sky. That sounds about right. Page 46. Okay, or tomorrow. I, I, I feel bad for judging. You can't pour anything into a chip cup after all. And yet, surely the chip moon in the night sky will become my true name is Mooski. Okay. And it looks like we're going to be getting them stories like this monthly. Ooh, that's almost 50 pages. Ugh. I'm not going to lie. I miss Naruto a little bit. The anime can kick rocks, but I truly do miss reading this every every week. And if someone tells you they don't miss it, they're lying. It just seems like the manga world is dead without this. Well, guys, I'll see you later on for the review.